And uh, let's get you the buy now, sell now, Patshala with Kunal Botra. And let's go across to him directly. Very good morning, Kunal. And take us through the topic. Uh, uh, that What an interesting topic we are seeing, alternate breakouts. We have just about breakouts happening from you or the breakdowns. But what's the alternative method to go ahead with this? Thank you, Srishti, for that. So, uh, you know, yesterday's topic is a uh, slight bit different. It's alternate breakouts because a stock which goes into an uptrend, We've seen historically that breakouts are when the stock gets into a breakout, that doesn't retest the previous uh, you know, breakout or the support point, but then it keeps on moving into a different tangent altogether. But this time the chart structures are a bit different because this tells you that how uh, you know, breakouts they generally pan out on a very realistic basis for stock prices. So we look at two examples over here. The first one is, uh, uh, again, both the examples are on the mid-cap uh, front. The first one is JSW Energy. Now, this is the classical sign of a breakout for a stock. So as you can see, the stock breaking out of the previous swing highs over here. This was the previous swing high. The stock goes into an uptrend, uh, you know, makes a new swing high. Again, comes back to retest the previous support. In this process, the stock tries to protect the previous low, which has been made over here. So in the formation, it forms a breakout, goes into a retest, doesn't break below the previous swing lows. Then after a few uh, days, weeks of consolidation, the stock gets into a second level of a breakout. Again, post the breakout, the stock gets into a, a further uh, you know, phase of correction. But in the phase of correction, the stock again tends to protect the previous swing lows which has been made. So this is a classical sign of breakouts trying to you know, uh, help the stock moving, moving to a new tangent altogether. So from a range of 300, 350, the stock moves into a range of 350, 450. And now recently with the stock is inching towards a breakout, <clears throat> close to this four, uh, 500 marks, which means post the breakout of this 500 levels, the previous swing lows of 450 could act as a major support for the stock. So that's a classical sign of how breakouts shape up. In an ideal scenario, we expect that post the breakout, the stock doesn't break below the neckline level, but in an alternate breakout method, it's very important for the stock to uh, try and take support of the previous uh, key uh, you know, uh, demand zones for itself. Another example which you have is one of the stocks which I've been highlighting earlier, that's Punawala Fincorp. Again, a classical sign where the stock gets into a breakout mode. Post the breakout, the stock goes into a rally, retests the previous supports. The supports which are made are on the higher side for the stock as compared to the previous support levels, even as you can see. And that's a classical sign of how uptrend build up, builds up for stocks. Now, in this case, if the stock breaks past about this 505 odd mark, we could be looking at this new base of 470 acting as a fresh support. So this is how you trail the stop losses, keep on riding the trend and uh, try and take advantage of an alternate breakout in stocks.